How's it on YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a visit I've had recently to a comic convention, a nerd fair. Now, I've got a video coming out in a couple of weeks, um, thumbnail here, which is going to be a bit of a moan about conventions. I want to make it clear that this convention was nothing like that. This was a proper convention in a kind of a small venue with a whole host of different retailers selling all kinds of cool stuff. It was a little convention held not far from me in a place called Darlington. Now, this was a really cool convention, as I've said, because it was small, it wasn't kind of shoulder to shoulder, it wasn't jam-packed. Here's a little video of some of the stuff you could see there. Now, one of the key things of um, enjoyment for me at this convention was that I bumped into a, a friend of mine, someone that I've known on YouTube um, and on Instagram for a little while. So lovely to meet up, really nice to see you, Chris, and I do hope we'll catch up again at some point in the future. So what did I get when I was at Darlington Comic Convention? Well, unlike some of the conventions I go to, I actually managed to fill my boots a little bit. I managed to pick up some really cool bits and bobs. I'm gonna show you some better images on screen as I'm talking, but let's start off with this. <laughs> it's Ram Man, isn't it? It's bloody Ram Man from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Now, I love this. This is an original vintage Ram Man figure. Wanted one of these for a while. This has got the, the spring-loaded action, so you can pop his legs down and he pops up. Hey, hey. Um, And this comes with his axe. So really quite hard normally to get it with the, uh, with the proper accessories. So very pleased with that. That is going to go in my Masters of the Universe vintage collection. Rather a smart little Ram Man. And I think I paid around about 10 English pounds for that. So I think that's an absolute steal. Next, we picked up some good old comic books. Can't go to a comic convention and not buy comics, can you? So again, some images on screen, but here we have the Punisher movie special. Those of you that are a little bit older will know that the good old Punisher was played on screen by Dolph Lundgren back in the day. Now, I've wanted a copy of this for a while, not because I'm particularly um, keen on the movie, it's a weird one. He doesn't even wear the Punisher costume. It's bonkers. Anyway, um, but but because I do like Dolph Lundgren and I'm hoping that at some point he will come to the UK um, and I'll be able to get a signature on this. I'd love a signature of the original Punisher on this book. This is in excellent condition. I played around, played? I paid around 15 English pounds for this, which I think is pretty good. Square bound book. Do you know how I'm doing that? As if you can tell. See, it's a square. Um, square bound book. But yeah, lovely cover art. Um, image of the Punisher on the front, looks now like Dolph Lundgren, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, nice book. Next, Batman. So I've had this book before. Don't know what I did there. Batman. Anyway, uh, I've had this book before. This is, of course, Vengeance of Bane. This is the first print. Um, this cost us the pricely sum of £16, which I think is an absolute steal for a key first appearance. This is the first appearance of Bane, as I've said. So a great little pick up this. Excellent condition, not many spine ticks that I can see. It's probably a decent grade, this one. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Next, pure cover buy. You know I love my Alex Ross. I buy a lot of his stuff. This is Action Comics, um, 1050. It's got a homage um, cover there, um, and I just love it. I think it is sexy as anything. So pick this up purely for the cover. Next, and this is a weird one, this is a Super 7 Optimus Prime. Um, I think it's Super 7. Yeah, Super 7 Optimus Prime. Um, and this is the kind of the X-ray action figure. So in the box, you've got Optimus, good old Opti. Um, Opti, because I mean it's made, without the combat. 
but you can also remove his chest and you can see the inner workings and all of his circuitry and all that gubbins. I'll put some images on screen now for you to have a bit of a nev at. Love this, never seen this before. This was pricey. Um, I think I paid around about £60 for that. Um, so a little bit more pricey, but I love it. A version of Prime I've not got and they'll go with my Optimus collection. So yeah, really pleased to have picked that one up. Finally, oh, finally, and it's a beast. I've been wanting a copy of this for ages. This is, oh Jesus. This is Marvel's, this is the, the Platinum um, edition. It's huge. Um, I've wanted this for a long time. Marvel's been one of my favorite series. It's Alex Ross, as I mentioned, one of my favorite all-time artists. This is a stunning story. I've always wanted it in large format, but it's out of print everywhere. Um, this was, I can't remember now. I can't remember how we're old. I think this was up for 120. Um, and I offered the gentleman a hundred pound and he said yes. So over the moon with that. Artwork is bloody gorgeous, as you can see. This is just an amazing book. Um, it's one of my favorites, so love it. Absolutely love it. So that's Marvel's The Platinum, oh, The Platinum Edition. <laughs> Hiya. Um, so yeah, stunner. Okie dokie gang. So that's my pickups from the Darlington Comic Convention. Really would recommend checking that out if you're in the area the next time it's on. It was a good fun day. And like I say, bonus for me is meeting a friend from Instagram. So that's your whack. Interested to know your thoughts and conventions. As I said, I do have a moan about video coming up shortly. So watch out for that one. And watch us twist me knickers about standard conventions these days. Thanks so very much. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.